Welcome to another video by Scholar Hall Education. Um, in this video, we're going to be looking at the traveling salesperson problem and optimizing it using the random mutation hill climb optimization algorithm. So some preliminaries before we begin. Um, this, to the students uh, to which this video directly applies, uh, within our lab sheets, we are given a .zip file. In that .zip file, we have these files right here. These TSP files are critical for us uh, within this exercise as we're going to be reading them. The OPT files are the optimum uh, output files. And, uh, sorry, you can see that, could you? The OPT files are the optimum output files. And um, these TSP48 files look like hieroglyphics to us right now, but we're going to be deciphering them. But specifically, what I want us to focus on right here is this TSP file right here. Um, this is a .java file, but I'm opening it as a notepad file. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy that. Uh, that's obviously having an issue there. And I'm going to paste it in here. So we are going to notice that uh, we're just going to have to import a few methods here. But um, this is the code that we are already given to us. We're going to make a few changes to these as we go along. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to aim to do this entire project within one class so it's all easily um, you know, we can look at it, traverse through it really easily. So uh, let's have a quick description of what the traveling salesperson problem is. So I'm going to do a terrible drawing in paint to kind of illustrate it for you guys. So imagine we have, we're a salesperson and we need to traverse through different cities in the United States or England or wherever. So these cities are defined by these dots right here. All right, in our files, these dots or these cities are denoted by values. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. I know this drawing is excruciatingly bad. What we're going to be doing is just like we did in these um, scales problem, we're going to be creating a random solution. And that random solution is going to give us a random root, right? So that random root could be anything. It might not necessarily be the optimum. But then that tor, it's called, what we're going to do is we're going to get the weight of that tor and we're going to see how far that tor was or how long it took. That is that is what our fitness function is going to do, right? Our fitness function is going to see how long it took for us to get from the start point to the end point. And then what we're going to do is we're going to use an optimization algorithm to ensure that we keep applying a small change or we're going to call it a swap to our um, solution and it's going to keep swapping the roots around and whichever has the best fitness will remain at the end of the iterations. So we can close that terrible drawing down and we can have a look at this. So that's what we're going to be achieving with our um, our TSP, our traveling salesperson. We're going to be using those files that I spoke about uh, right here and I want you to paste those into your workspace and your project just as we did for the scales solution. So uh, I hope I've made everything clear. I hope I've made the um, problem clear. And if you want a bit of a background as to how we're going to solve this, it's going to be relatively the same as um, our scale solution. So I do have a look at those videos and the preliminaries to those videos if you want to see how we're going to go about solving this. But um, otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.